What's this? What's this? It's a pen. I think this pen. Do you think it's a good idea to learn some English before going to England? Too often you were stopping. And you can't stop. Don't wait for the student. Keep it coming. Most people don't think. See the air. No, we can't see the air. But here, air. Air. Yeah. Air. Yeah. 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 Teachers teach grammar, vocabulary, expressions, and so on to the students, and then they help the students to practice those items, the different parts of the language. Are there using any shops in the street speaking. where you live? Um, Are there any shops? Teacher the asks the students live? questions, yes, no? and then mm, the teacher yes. helps the students to answer the there questions are, in a particular way using specific structures which are useful for developing the language. Okay. So it's not free conversation, it's guided. The students mm. have to answer in a particular way because that will help them to develop their uh, understanding and their fluency in the language. The intention is not to make life difficult for the students. The Callan method is taught very quickly, so the students have to concentrate very hard, but they need to have two opportunities to hear the questions. So that uh, because the teacher is done so quickly, they need to have two chances. Um, it means that they're more likely to understand the question, and then they are able to give a good answer once the student, once, sorry, once the teacher has asked the question. And Callan method is never intended to be slow. Whatever the level, whether the students are beginners, intermediate, advanced, the method is always fast. This is one of the most important aspects of the Callan method. Um, even at beginner level, although the, the sentences and the questions and answers are obviously much simpler, the idea is that it's still a fast lesson. Because by being fast, it means that the students have to concentrate and they have to think and speak directly in English. At the school in London, I'm taught all kinds of nationalities. I'm a, a very big school and we have students from all around the world. Europe, Italy, Spain, uh, Poland, um, and South America. We have lots of Brazilian students, Colombians, from Asia. A, a real mix, all kinds of nationalities and all kinds of different languages. They are a little bit shy or a little bit reluctant when it comes to speaking. Um, very often they have quite a good understanding and their grammatical knowledge of English is quite good because they've studied at school in their own country. Um, but in my experience they don't often have um, a lot of opportunities to speak when they're learning English at school. Um, and so when they do have to speak they may be a little bit nervous, a bit shy and they're embarrassed. They are encouraged to speak and in a Callum class they don't have an opportunity to be shy because everybody has to speak, everybody has to contribute. So it can be very good for developing that side of the language form. The Callum method can work very well online, there's a, there's a lot of potential for it to be used online. Um, it's because it's such a, um, because of the nature of the method, the way that the, the, the teacher and the students interact, um, that can that can work very well um, over the internet with webcams and um, microphones. Um, so even a 25 minute lesson, for example, can be uh, very very useful for a student. Yeah, it can be enough sometimes. I've been very impressed, yeah. Be before I came I didn't really know what to expect. Um, I had no real experience in the Philippines or Filipino teachers, so I, I didn't know what to expect. Um, and I've been very pleasantly surprised that they, their English is fantastic and they've been very, very enthusiastic. They're all lively and energetic teachers. Because we want the students to realise that when we repeat a word. It's a very effective method, it's very fast, very efficient, but only if it's done in the right way. Um, it needs to be taught correctly. The Callan method is not testing. The Callan method is practicing. The method is helping students to answer practicing sentences.